Hello? Hello. My name is Cody Looking Horse, and I am a representative of International Indigenous Youth Council. I was at Standing Rock for two months. I, I have witnessed the most horrific things, from planes dropping chemical poison on the camp, from the front lines tragedies like women and children being attacked by attack dogs, elders getting maced in the face and forcibly pushed down and arrested, teenagers getting shot off their horses and coughing up blood by rubber bullets that were safe. We, we, we exist, we resist and we rise. <laughs> but Standing Rock, Standing Rock isn't over. I was there for two months, but I can tell you it's not over. And the things that there, I've seen there were so horrific, I can't even, I don't even want to remember. They have done everything they could possibly do to hurt us in the front lines. They, everything they did was intended us to make us wounded. They have razor blades all over um, where they had us, and we also all got cut up. In 2016, this was happening for clean water, for indigenous youth that standing up for clean water, and we need to have more indigenous youth that comes together. We need to be together because we are breathing the same air, we are drinking the same water, and we're all on the same earth. And if we don't do that, we're not going to have this one for a long time. I have been speaking at Amer I have been speaking at universities and Mohawk College to spread awareness to, to teach about my culture and what happened about what really happened in Standing Rock. On Christmas Day uh, in 1890, President Abraham Lincoln hung 40 Lakota chiefs that I'm related to, my relatives, my ancestors. On Christmas! And on Christmas, and he, he decided to do it on Christmas, and my Lakota people have rides every year. And I do not celebrate Christmas because my ancestors got hung on that day, and I arrived from Crow Creek, South Dakota to all the way to Minneapolis, Minnesota in honor of my Lakota people and frigid weathers and 30 below temperature. I I grew up growing on I grew up growing on rides and we honor like um, whatever it is. So like wounded knee we do I was on the wounded knee ride a lot and we ride 230 I mean, miles, you know, just in honor of Wounded Knee. So because that was my ancestors that our blood got shedded on those grounds where we walked. And Standing Rock is, that's where my ancestors' land was and I had a right to be there. I had a, they told me to get off the land, but I knew that was my land because that was my ancestors' land. Those were my ancestors walked there for thousands of years. You cannot tell me I do not belong there. Sorry, I'm just all over. The Lakota prophecy from a long time ago says Mother Earth is going to get a fever, and that is global warming. And she, she needs help right now. Mother Earth gives us everything we need to survive. She gives us food, water and air to breathe and all she asks of us is for us to protect her and mankind has been you know our great lakes our seven great lakes from here they were a hundred years ago you could drink out of them my people drank out of those rivers for thousands of years and mankind has been here for hundreds of years only i mean only a hundred years and you cannot drink it at all or else you can get sick and that's that's the kind of damaging effects they are doing, and animals are paying the, the price for what we're doing. Global warming, like the polar bears, they are drowning because the ice is not going to be there, and they don't have land to swim on. You know, there's all all of these problems all over the world, you know, that us, we as a whole people are, you know, we don't even know, but like, we're a part of it, you know? So we, we gotta do everything we need to do to stop, you know, 
this. You could stop um, Dakota Access Pipeline by um, divesting from Toronto Dominion, I, I believe. And there's a Standing Rock, there's a Standing Rock uh, documentary that just came out today called Awaken. And there's another Standing Rock, uh, there's another Standing Rock documentary that was uh, just released like two months ago by Viceland and it's called Rise and I was at the premiere and I spoke at the premiere and like I was there with uh, people from Standing Rock because I spoke at a conference at McMaster University with my fellow water protectors that I got a chance to fly down and speak with one more time stand in solidarity with and on our behalf of the, uh, in, uh, the McMaster Health Conference 2017. So we were there and we, we got invited to all these things and you know we're, we're still you know we're still environmentalists, we're still full activists, we still really care about our culture wherever we are. You know, if we're in America, if we're in Canada, we, think we care about the whole earth. And no matter what nation you are, we are all brothers and sisters. <laughs>